Hello YouTube, it's the Omega 31 Today I'm making this video to help the people who bought a Minecraft server from gizmoservers.com to set up their server to add plugins, to add worlds, and basically how to use the Multicraft control panel. The Multicraft control panel is very easy to use and it's very powerful and uh, you won't have any trouble picking up. Uh, so if you're watching this video, you've probably already bought a Minecraft server from us. If you haven't, go ahead and do so. Uh, you can just choose the server you want by sliding this bar. It'll change the information here. And, you know, then you just click the order now. Fill out the form. Um, use your email address and you'll receive a confirmation email. Uh, with the login information and the IP and once you receive that just log into your control panel the multicraft control panel and this is what it will look like uh, I'm a super user on my uh, multicraft control panel so you won't have all the features that I have uh, but let's we'll just go ahead and cover this Okay, so what you'll need is to look in the description and download the FileZilla program that I have there for you. It's an FTP client and it just makes transferring files a lot faster and a lot easier. So go ahead and download that now and install it. And once you have that installed, uh, come back to this video. Okay, so this you gotta you don't change this you can uh, change the name if you want uh, this tells you the status or yeah the status I'm sorry <laughs> also uh, let's see here you won't have access to some of the stuff that I have access to players you know player count uh, and then this is the user that the control panel is assigned to uh, the port don't change any of this stuff here memory don't change that uh, okay so if you want to add plugins you're gonna have to the where it says jar jar file go ahead and click the little button here and it'll have this menu just click mod craft bucket and so it says craft bucket jar here and just mod craft bucket like that and if your server is running uh, you might want to stop it you can stop uh, you can stop restart and uh, yeah and start your server so uh, this is just basically telling you what the CPU utilization is, what the RAM utilization is, and uh, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, okay, so now that we have that, uh, wait, oh. Okay, so now that we have that up, go ahead and open FileZilla. Okay, what you're going to need to do to connect to the server using this is click on this button up in the corner right here. It'll bring up the this window. Uh, click New Site. Okay, so click New Site. And once you do that, you're going to want to fill out this information and the way you the way you fill it out okay the host is the IP of your server so just put your IP here and leave the port blank if if for whatever reason it doesn't work then put in the IP but I mean the port but leave the port blank put your IP here uh, the IP that we 
uh, for your server. Um, then the protocol, make this FTP uh, FTP transfer protocol, and then use uh, FTP, uh, plain FTP, and then you're gonna have to uh, the the type. Uh, click the box and make it normal. And okay, so for the user, uh, click on files here and uh, put the FTP username where it says user, and then the password that you have for your login information, put that here and then leave everything else blank and then click uh, uh, connect and then once you click connect it'll bring up this it'll bring up this information oh okay so it'll bring up this window here this is your this is what's on your computer so say that you have the plugin package that I made for my video uh, downloaded uh, and extracted from the zip file and it's just a folder on your desktop uh, you know just a regular folder like one of these but it's you know just called plugins you can uh, scroll here if you know how to navigate uh, you know your desktop and stuff oh what you gotta do is you're gonna have to find it up here actually I'm sorry find it up here so say that you saved it to your desktop go ahead and find desktop and um, find where you saved it to you know I have the world you know whatever you want uh, it's fairly simple so desktop you know, um, for example, I'll use that bucket PVP folder. So, bucket server. And then here's my plugins folder. You just drag and drop it into here. This is the server. Uh, this is the server. So, you drag it. And once you drag it, you'll see some information down here. You know, like the progress, time elapsed, and stuff like that and the data transferring up here and once that's all done the stuff down here will go away and you can do the same thing for your world just drag it over and let it transfer all the data over into this side and once you do that you just click restart the server and restart the server that's basically it and also um, okay so once you restart the server you'll have all your usual server files you know okay so you're gonna wanna make sure your name is in the op text file so if you wanted to download this from the server just double click it and then it should be downloaded uh, oh. Hold on. well anyways just make sure your your name is in the op text file uh... you can add users you can add say that you want somebody to have access to your server to help you with uh, plugins and whatnot but you don't want to give them your information you can go ahead and add a user by clicking users and you won't have this information here but you can go ahead and add your user that you want uh, you can check your console here this is all the console uh, uh, commands that have been executed you can check that uh, you know, you could type in commands and stuff like that. Um, okay, so like files, like I showed you before. This is the built-in FTP. 
you can use this if you want but uh, the filezilla is a lot it's it's a much more powerful tool than the built-in one but you could use it if you really wanted to uh, okay and then scheduled tasks well you can you can create a new task if you wanted to uh... Oh. Well, I guess not well for some reason it's not working right now but you should be able to do that uh, okay config files oh okay so operators and stuff server settings oh Oh yeah, okay. Just put your name in the operators text file or whatever for the config. Under config files and uh players. Oh, uh, it's like a list of players on the server. Manage players. So that's what I basically wanted to show you guys. Uh wait, what is help? Oh. oh, and if you click help, this is a user documentation for Multicraft. Uh, and this is a little bit more detailed stuff you can look at. I'm not going to cover this, but if, if you click help, that's what will come up. Alright, so that's pretty much it. I just wanted to show you how to use FileZilla to upload uh, plugins to your server and if you ever need to change a plugin say like a config file what you're gonna have to do is uh, download the plugin from here uh, or whatever so like that and then oh shit oh well, maybe not wait what is it oh it didn't work whatever uh, prove me a liar see if I care uh, alright. Why won't you work? Ah, oh, you piece of crap. Oh, whatever. Alright, so what you're gonna have to do is. <clears throat> you're gonna have to. If you wanna, say, change the settings of a particular plugin, once you've already uploaded them, you're gonna have to change the settings on your computer and then re upload it and overwrite it overwrite what you put in already so <coughs> but other than that that is basically it on how to use multicraft and also filezilla hopefully this has helped you guys and if you have any further requests please message me bye